Hi, my name is Ryo. I'm very happy to announce the new technology of presentations. So for everybody doing presentation in the classroom, conference room, hotels, now I am doing presentation over the smart world. This video is going through livestream.com or Ustream or some broadcast channel like uh, youtube.com. Of course it can be recorded as like you see now. The way of I'm presentation is the new generation of doing presentation for smart world. So a lot of people talking about the flipped learning and the flipped learning basically based on concept that students can listen at home and do homework at class. So it's completely flipped so they can learn at home so they don't have to worry about the live lecture so they can stop anytime, review and rewind and play again. So basically all the students can have independent class at home so they can digest very uh, easily and very comfortably at home and then they go to class where all the students come together having discussion having some quiz from the teachers so the classroom is really meeting place where all the people can discuss together so let's start about my presentation about flipped learning live lecture with a new smart learning smart teaching system which is called iStudio so the uh, first topic is about the reviewing of the technology we have been used for classroom so far. So now we have uh, uh, three blocks uh, graphic here. The first one I'm showing no blackboard error until about 200 years ago, which means all the classroom in Egypt, in Greece, Everybody come to class and school, but there was no blackboard. How, did, how do they teach in the classroom without blackboard? That's the way how several thousand years has been used in the classroom. So we believe they are using some way of document, maybe on the paper, on the special way of the writings. But anyway, basically, every student, we assume that they are learning and talking and discussing with the teacher. So about 200 years ago, the world's first slate-based blackboard happened in uh, French schools. The first slate used for blackboard. After that, this board was developed for military education in US Army. Eventually, all the school start lecturing in the classroom, saying the teacher become actor talking, discussing, showing everything on blackboard. So from that time, all the students, like 20 or 40 students, focusing on teacher speech, and they listen, and they do class. In that way, we say live broadcasting class happen for 40 to 60 students in the classroom. After that, year 1990, when PC came out, the very nice software, which is called PowerPoint, came out the market. And same time, we can find the older uh, projector screen in the classroom. The project at the time a little bit expensive and not bright as like we have. But anyway, that was the standard of showing not only writings on the blackboard, but also multimedia content on the screen. That is a great contribution for the education so everybody using right now. I wouldn't categorize the blackboard, whiteboard, electric uh, podium there yet because that is not actually fully verified yet. All the electric whiteboard, for example, from recent report, they said electric whiteboard still become a little bit uh, the different device staying at the classroom without any real use. So I just removed that part to say it was a, a innovative product changing the classroom as like these three products. Blackboard and project and computer was the great thing. Now, we have different generation which is called smart class. It's like you are watching my video from your notebook or from your mobile phone. The presentation can be shown 
to everybody who has a smart device, which is about 4 billion units already installed in everywhere in the world. And all the YouTube, all the live stream video can go everywhere in the world right now. So we should use this one for presentation. We have to use that one for classroom as well. That's the expectation of smart classroom. We call this is the smart learning system. So let's review what kind of classroom we have right now using the modern technology. So for example, this is a, one of the elementary Korean classroom where they have all the nice devices which has been used in the classroom. So there's a small device here. It's called the uh, document camera. So many documents, uh, many things we can show to the project screen using this document camera. And here we have a TV. Maybe this TV is already not been used, but there is a, it looks like an electric whiteboard. I mean, electric board where the TV screen, they can write and draw together with the projection screens. And there's a podium. We call this is electric uh, lectern. So they put all the computer, microphone, speaker, CD room, video player, everything is here. And then there is uh, another uh, desk together with the desk for the teachers here and screens and projectors. So a lot of equipment, every classroom in Korea who has all the modern devices already built in. You can imagine how complicated environment all the teachers are now using this. This is another uh, Korean classroom in Busan, uh, the uh, Ministry of Education Institute. They are using about four projector, three projector screen here, and one electric whiteboard. And also there is uh, the video conferencing system, and also the electric podium here, all the nice computers and desks installed in this classroom. You can imagine where all the people has to watch. Sometimes he watch here, sometimes he watch there, sometimes he's watching teachers. So it is co quite confusing time that defining the most efficient classroom. We call this is a smart classroom, but there is no Wikipedia definition that this is the right way to do the smart learning system in the classroom. So I have uh, one photo. I personally visit one of the uh, middle school, uh, senior school in United States. So I took a photo and then this room has mathematic teachers. They are discussing about the classroom. And then I found they are using special teaching podium here. So she come normally to here and there is a computer and tablet. So this tablet going to project the screen and also they have a TV screen here. So this screen is showing how she's teaching there. So she is using normally tablet with a PowerPoint. So this is going to projector. And also she is frequently using document camera where they can show the textbook or other uh, documents. And sometimes they use a VTR where they have a video uh, if he, she wants to show something about real environment. So imagine the student sitting here has to decide where they watch. Right now I'm doing myself showing to you. So everybody, if they have this kind of a view, they see me, if I make this one, they see the project screen like this way. So the way I'm showing is a real time. The way I am presenting is the using the new technology which is called iStudio. So nobody around me helping me except myself doing presentation, changing PowerPoint slide and changing camera actions. And also sometimes I'm showing very beautiful environment for students to enjoy the beautiful classroom. We call this is a virtual classroom technology where we bring all the notebook, all the document camera in same screen, so all the people easily can switch to show the document camera, to show the PowerPoint, and students as well. So uh, this method uh, is, is going to announce for the new solution for the smart classroom. Before I move to that smart classroom, I would like to explain what the difference between TV generation and smart error which we have right now. So if you look at the smart TV and TV generation, I can differentiate two parts of my sessions. The first thing TV generation means everybody come to this kind of uh, 
the dining room and they share the TV all together. There is no choice for many channels. They have only one or two channels. They select and they watch all together in one place. And the channel is very limited. Even we have uh, many hundred cable TV channels. All the channels is actually was selected by the broadcaster, not by yourself. And also they cannot stop review, rewind, or they can see previous time. Now we, we can do at home using smart TV system, but actually several years ago, nobody can do this kind of a TV to make a stop, to make a rewind, to make the watch for which was already played. So TV generation means one place, everybody come and everybody watch the given channels, which cannot stop, which cannot rewind. But in the smart error we come to one place but every people has their screens so they don't have to watch one TV screen but they can watch whatever he wants and all the content is kind of on demand so they have to select what they want to watch and individual people so this philosophy between TV generation and smart device generation has to be applied in the classroom so the smart classroom has to have the same concept. All the students come to the class, but they don't have to watch one live teacher's lecture. They can watch any content as long as they are focusing on the same topics and subject. So we can say that we can apply that idea to the smart classroom. So once more, I want to summarize what we are differentiating between projector-based TV classroom and smart class. The project TV class which we are currently using, I want to differentiate current project based IPTV whatever the technology we are using is called TV classroom generation. And the way for next generation is called flipped learning smart classroom. So the project basis classroom is like you are watching one channel, there is one teacher who is doing live teaching. So students cannot stop, rewind, review, it's not possible. Once they finish, there's no lecture already finished. So we call this is a volatile classroom, which you cannot repeat this one until you have a new time machine. But in smart class, which we are aiming, which we want to change the architecture, change the problem of the live class, we are trying to use new technology, which is called flipped class. So flipped class, what they are saying is they can do lesson at home, watch video of the lecture, and they come to class to have a discussion. So the lecture to be on home, to watch from any place by any students means we have to have uh, some device which we can use for lectures, which can really represent or replace the live lecture in the classroom. So once we have a device which we can use as a live lecture so all the teachers can easily create their own lecture, that is the moment that we can tell flipped learning really can realize in the world. So now you can assume if this method as you are watching, the content I'm doing is really happen on your hand. Within 10 minutes if you understand how to make this one, that is the story that we are on the edge of moving real flipped learning generation. So once we have this kind of video, it's like you're watching my presentation. This is really, I would say, better than live, which means even I visit you to have the same presentation in front of you. I don't believe I can do better presentation than you are watching my video right now. So all the students, once they have listened to the lecture in the home, they can come to the class where they can really discuss when they have all the students in the classroom, when they have a teacher there, they can discuss, talk, quiz, and they will have motivate to study next class. That's the revolution of classroom. That's why I, I would say one more generation will happen using new technology if we really apply this in the classroom. So that's the idea how I say the iStudio class. To make a real flipped learning generation, we need uh, some way how to make a teacher really make a presentation better.
better than the live classroom. So I would say the iStudio which I'm using is really providing you the way how we really capture, really make a lecture recording in real time. I would say this machine is not the lecture capture device. This is a really presenting new virtual reality presentation system all over the smart world. It's not only limited for the classroom, but it is for everybody, not only for this generation, but also for next generation. So once you use this device in the class, we can take the presenter's face and also presenting material together. So immediately all the people in the world can see this video from their smart device. That's the whole idea how we change the blackboard to the window of the smart world. So this device is so simple that you can put this device in any place. And then you just use a mouse to change the screen like a small. So you, your face going everybody. And sometimes you can show the other one. Sometimes you show it this way and make it bigger. All operation, you know, my hand is fully free and no other people around me. That means this is really device you can operate. The only thing you should know is how to press the mouse and how to move your cursor so people can see where you are pointing out. So all this uh, technology we are now bringing in the classroom. So this device looks like this. You have a normal table as you have, but we provided you the chroma key stand with a small light. This is just a 10 minute installation in any place in your classroom or in your office or any empty space. And then we put small device like this. So there is a screen. So where you have a menu or the other students classroom here, and also your output going to here. So you are watching your output and teaching in front of students or yourself in any space. So this output directly going to the projector. So projector screen not only showing only a notebook, but also showing together with you. So your face sometimes become very small. So every people will watch the screen, but sometimes your face become beautiful screens together and then eventually you can say yourself very big face so every student will concentrate on watching your eye. So it makes a virtually directly eye contact to simultaneous students in the classroom. So uh, once you use this one in the classroom, it looks like this. So all the students here will have like a theater style classroom. If you dim out the light, they will have much better concentration on such a beautiful screen. So you are watched by the screen so all the students can only see here. They don't have to watch you who are there because you are already providing them like this way. So they can see big face or small face like we have right now. So that's the uh, technology. We have a beautiful million dollar classroom and a teacher can create nice t nice environment immediately. They can design any nice studio with our tools easily without any understanding of 3D Max or Maya kind of 3D softwares, which is too professional that all students or teachers cannot use this. Same time as like a broadcaster doing, we have a camera action. So any action they can do by themselves using the pointer, which is our international pattern part. After that, they can do presentation much better than any other method. They can do better presentation than without this iStudio machine there. And same time, we are proposing the teacher really make a teaching from back to make a flipped learning. This is a really make flipped teaching so teacher can sit behind and he can watch what's showing to the students. So teacher watching students together with him. That way, they can make a presentation. It's look like you are watching my video. This video assume that showing on the screen in front of the teachers and in front of all the students. So the teacher will sit in the last end of the uh, position of the classroom, which is a bag of the class. So at least the last students here can see at least better view than the teacher. So teacher will understand where the students is watching. And also simultaneously, teacher's eye going everywhere, which it makes a perfect eye contact, which is called virtual eye contact. 
this is the way how we make a live classroom better than the normal classroom without iStudio. So this is the some way I do the uh, seminar. I normally sitting in the back and all the people here watching front. So they are watching here instead of watching this direction. So this is called flipped teaching that I am proposing all the classroom, all the seminar room to do better presentation in there. So from my experiment, testings to the students, every people say this kind of flipped teaching has better concentration than front teaching as normal. Which means everybody watching the screen, like you are watching my video, that video really better than the conventional teaching. Once they agree this video is better than the live, which means this video can show to other classroom and also other classroom can watch video as exactly the same as the live lecture where you are sitting and teaching. That means this video will stay in YouTube so every other people can use the, the video as a flipped learning classroom courses. So once we have this kind of up in the classroom, everybody will watch only one screen. This is one of the typical example. Another interesting thing we are showing is collaborative class. I made a Sweden, Sweden and Korea class in real time. So the teacher sitting in the back, this is experimental room. Now we have much beautiful chroma key all the devices there. Anyway, we have experiment from Korea to Sweden and we do perfect presentation at the time. This is one of the video we record at the time. So greetings, Sweden students and teacher. Uh, it's 40, uh, so she is doing live lecture. Here. We do recording. And Same screen is showing on the uh, Sweden side. This painting. So yes, they do yeah, art class. So the teacher is showing many different one. So Sweden people and Korea okay. students yeah. sharing same lecture. They do uh, yeah, the really uh, like audience this. feedback system uh, to yeah. measure who yeah. which picture is the best. So between Korea and Sweden, make a post some <laughs> voting, and they have uh, a result which something parts like that. Did you like so so much that kind of uh, work? solution, we can use uh, existing smart which technology. So we use that time with a Skype, yeah. without any special technique. We bring the the, the the Sweden students in the Korea classroom, and both sides has a perfect presentation distance telepresence. So the device I'm showing is called iStudio MicroStation. The reason is it's so small to do broadcast station, but it actually doing all the functions you need to broadcast all of the smart world. The only thing you need is connect the network and then your presentation live can go everywhere in the world. So if you want to have a bi-directional conference, you just use a Skype account on this machine and then you can do live with them in any place, in any time. So this is a typical configuration. This is uh, some exhibition area. We put this one in online Educa in Berlin. So all the people watch what's going out, but the teacher and presenter can sit there and the output looks like this. The real situation we make with all the visitors there and they, they have an output like this way. So it looks like they are in virtual presentation room and they can make a very beautiful presentation in live. So as a conclusion, the iStudio we are using, making very different way of presenting, which is called virtual presentation. So you can make a million dollar presentation classroom in any place and unlimited combination you can create by any novice people can create beautiful studio without any limitation. And also we do the bi-directional distance learning or bi-directional conference using the Skype. So you don't need any extra machine just to install Skype. So second screen will show the other side while they are watching, you are presenting video as like you are watching right now. So the third one is once you finish the teaching, immediately this video going to YouTube so everybody can share. Of course, it can be uploaded to your LMS system so you can make a complete learning management system with the live lecture together. And then another live broadcasting we can do using Ustream.com, Livestream.com, just in the TV or any AfricaTV.com is the way to make a live simultaneously doing presentation as like I'm doing. So you can do different way of presentation so they can see your eye. 
they can make a better action like this or that way. So all the different actions you can do in real time. Same time this one is recorded and also same time this one can do bi-directional Skype conference with any classroom in the world and then it can be broadcast to share your class all over the world. This is a really innovative way doing presentation. So I would summarize the iStudio Smart class that Smart Lecture has to be made by virtual screens which can make a better presentation than conventional live lecture. It can be broadcast live lecture all over the world which is already done by YouTube or Ustream. We are not doing any development, just using the smart power. And it do automatic recording. So all the live lecture you do is not volatile. This one is captured, can be uploaded, can be shared with all of the people who have smart devices. So that means all the courses you made is not just one time for your classroom, but this is for everybody in the world. And finally, you can easily integrate this one. You can make a sections. Every section, you can make a question and answer. So when they do flipped class learning at home, they can really follow the class more exactly individual way so they can anytime stop, rewind, review, and do homework by themselves. At, at class, they can do discuss because they are all in together in the classroom. So smart class, we do live lecture using iStudio, recording and putting in LMS. And then they do flipped class because they can listen at home and go to class to check whether they really understand well quiz and discussion in the classroom. So teacher will have more time to communicate with individual students. They can check whether they are going right direction or they do motivated by teacher. So teacher will really become important role for teacher to guide them in right direction to have a real conclusion, not just uh, providing the information to students so students have to do all the uh, responsibility, but in the flipped class, teacher motivate for students to do by themselves and check whether they really understand so they can share more time with the students. That's the way how we change the whole paradigm of the education. So here is a solution that we are saying the classroom is uh, not anymore for only students in the classroom, but also this is for all the students in the world. So your valuable courses can be shared all together and then it can be really complete the flipped learning eventually. So we are really sure that this iStudio will contribute a lot for the new paradigm of education. I hope you enjoy my presentation. Sorry for my bad accent and English. I hope everybody can get idea because the machine showing all the information I would like to explain. So once more, this all presentation is a real time made. I didn't have any script to read, but everything is instantaneously made. Thank you very much.